Hey, Miles here, milesbeckler.com. In this video, you're gonna learn how to create and run a split test for your opt-in page or your sales page inside of the WordPress dashboard. This is an update to my DIY sales funnel video series. The last split test video showed how to do this in Google Analytics using experiments, but Thrive Themes has rolled out a new plugin that makes it 10 times easier. And you're gonna follow along on the computer as we actually set up and launch a split test in real time in a matter of minutes. Now, again, this is based on the DIY sales funnel video series. If you haven't built your first landing page yet, you do need to go back to video one because we're building on what we created in the series. I'll obviously link to the full series below. Now we're using Thrive Themes for this and you need the whole Thrive Theme membership. So you can go to milesbeckler.com forward slash Thrive. I am an affiliate for this. So full disclosure, I would receive an affiliate commission. That's how I get the kind of revenue that keeps me putting out these helpful videos for you. But really the only reason I'm promoting this is because this is what I run all of my money websites on. All three of our brands that are bringing in multiple six figures per year run on Thrive Themes. So once you come to milesbeckler.com forward slash Thrive, you want to click on the get all our products button. You do need all of their products. You can set up the theme to manage the blog pages, but really you need multiple of their plugins to run this. You'll click get it now and you need the optimized plugin. You also need the architect plugin and the thrive leads plugin. The best deal is to get them all here in the thrive membership. If you pay annually, you can save 24%. If you prefer to pay quarterly, just tick that box over there and you'll get billed once every three months. Once you're inside of the members area, after you complete purchase, or if you already purchased and you're already a Thrive member, you come here to the member dashboard. Down below, you'll see Thrive Optimize is right here on top. You simply click download and upload that as a plugin in your WordPress dashboard. If you need further assistance, you can go into the tutorials that they've built for this plugin. And then obviously you can discuss things and ask specific questions in the forum if you'd like. But let's jump in and actually do some work now that we've got that covered. You can see I've got Thrive Optimize installed at this point in my WordPress dashboard. You can access this down below. You see Thrive Dashboard on the left. That's kind of where it lives. But if you go click on it, there's no way to start your split test from here, right? So how do you actually start it? Because this is only to review your running tests. So what we do is we go to the actual page that you want to create a split test for. For me in this series, I run this at my home page, but you might be running it at a sub page, right? Like on my main site, milesbecker.com, it's at forward slash free dash course. So you simply navigate when you're logged in to the page you want to run a split test on. And then above on the black WordPress bar, you've got edit with Thrive Architect. So I'm going to click that to load it. And I've already got it loaded in another window to make this as quick as we can. You can see this is the architect version of the page we built. Up here in the corner, we have create new AB test. But real quick, before we jump in, you need to have your goal URL noted down. What's the goal URL? Well, it's the URL of visitor that will go to when they successfully complete the opt-in. So for me, it's like a thank you page where I remind them they got to go confirm their email address. If you don't know what that URL is, you can click the box here in the bottom and then scroll down to the actions, actions and animation. And you can see when someone clicks, it opens a light box because this is a two-step opt-in form. I'm going to click the edit light box button. And this is literally going to bring me inside of the light box I created that displays when someone clicks the button. Once the light box loads that we built in step one, you click on the button and then it'll bring up your form options. Click edit where you've connected a Weber and then step four post opt-in action. You can see I've got it set to redirect the user to a custom URL. I'm going to take this. This is where you find the custom URL that you're using. This is how we measure how many conversions each page gets. You can see I've already got it there, but I just pasted it in to show you. And I've already written my, my new headline. I'm going to run as a split test. That's all we're doing in there. I'm just going to X out of that window. And here inside, again, I'm inside of the architect plugin on the page that I want to create a split test on. I click create a new AB test. This is what now shows up this create a new AB test. That's what's added since adding on the thrive optimize plugin. There's two ways to create a split test. You can add a new variation, which is starting from scratch. I don't recommend that. That's a lot of work. You can simply click this little duplicate 
kind of clone window. And what this is going to do is it's going to clone my current operating landing page. So I have an exact replica of it. And you can see it automatically put a split of 50 50 traffic. But what I need to do is I need to actually go in here and edit the variation. I'm going to give this one a new name first just so I can keep them separate to make it easy on myself. And then we click edit variation. I'm going to go into my other window and I'm going to copy my headline that I've already written out. And I'm going to make sure this looks really good once it's set up in here. And all I need to do is copy the headline that I want to replace, click paste or control V. And there it is. So I'm going to want to work with this a little tiny bit. I'm going to speed up the video just because I want this to either be clean on two lines or I want it to be uh, a little bit more. Um, I, I just don't like this one word hanging here. So let me make some quick changes for this. Perfect. I'm happy with it now. Secret revealed how to save 3,236 per year when you replace click funnels with your own DIY sales funnel. I'm going to leave, leave everything else the same. It's important on split tests to only test one thing. And then I come down here to the bottom. I click save. If you want to make sure that looked good on the mobile, you can use this kind of uh, responsive view here. You click, you can take a look how it looks on tablet and mobile just to make sure it all looks good. But for me in here, I'm good at this point. So once I'm done setting up this page, right, I now have my new variation. I'm going to click on new headline up in the corner, and this is going to bring me back into the actual dashboard for my AB split test. So now you can see right here, you can even see it secret revealed how to free video reveals how to. So that's my, my test right there is a different headline. All I need to do is click set up and start AB test. What it wants is a name description i'm going to leave blank you have the ability to turn on the automatic winner session settings um, 100 conversions 14 days 95 percent chance i'm going to leave that off just to monitor it you can run that if you'd like you can make it uh more difficult like a 98 percent score that's totally personal up to you then we click next and we got to set up the goal this is where we got that goal url visit goal page and it wants the url there so i'm going to go back and i am going to copy my goal url paste it in here it gives a little spinny wheel and then you need to click on it when it shows up and that now it is actually set up you can see edit page and preview that's how you know it's set up i'm going to click start a b test and at that point we have actually set up a split test inside of the thrive kind of architect and optimize system, right? You got to use those two things together. And although it brings us here to the page, I want to go back to the optimize dashboard and I'm just going to refresh this. Or if you want, you can simply go down to thrive dashboard, click on thrive, optimize, same, same. And now you can see that we've got our one test running here. So I can view the test details. It's going to give me data on the statistics once it's running. But this is where I monitor the success or, or failure of my test. Either way is great. I'm learning what actions and what words and phrases get my audience to take action. And this, my friend, is the easiest and fastest way I've found to successfully run split tests. And split tests are how you really identify. It's not just about getting conversions on this page, right? It's identifying those emotional, those kind of triggers for your audience, the needs. You can test everything from offers to headlines to layouts. There's a lot you can do, but ultimately you're looking for what are those phrasings? What are those words? What are those headlines? And what are those offers that actually get my audience to click and take that next action? It's all really simple here. If you're running multiple funnels, you can set up multiple split tests at a time. You can do this for your opt-in pages or for your sales pages. There's really no limit to what you can do. And it's all now natively integrated into WordPress, which is fantastic. If you want want some of my friends, my buddy Dave Wooding, who runs all of my integrations and his team of WordPress developers, if you want them to actually run the tech of your funnels and you just send the new headline and get them to install it and put it in place and do all the tech work, go check out myfunneldev.com and you can take a look at how his team will run it for 99 bucks a month. They'll actually do all of the tech work for you if you feel like you're getting stuck in some of this tech stuff. But if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you're okay with the process, 
this is exactly how I run my split tests for my wife and my main business. Uh, this is the path to really finding those offers, those items that get your audience to take action. That's the real trick. Mix this in with a bit of traffic and you have yourself a complete recipe for success online. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, hit me in the comments. I will answer them as I have free time available. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up in YouTube. Feel free to share this video with a group or anybody you'd like. Just grab the URL, send it out as a share. And ultimately, I thank you for your time. I hope this has helped you know what needs to get done and how to do it. But ultimately, it's up to you to take the action, to build the pages, to create the content, to grow your audience and grow your relationship with your audience. Split testing your opt-in pages is one of the cores to that. So I hope this has been helpful and I look forward to connecting with you on the next video. Till then, be well.